Welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And if you press code like that, you can grab the template right here with a copy. Copy! And then we'll go out to a brow. Uh, we are in the browser. We'll go out to Adam, for instance, here. And we'll paste the code in. As what it would look like here, we've just changed the title to Mustache Maker. And we're using Zimcat 4 at the moment. And we'll have our code here. So we're all ready to go. And we are going to code, indeed, if you haven't guessed, a Mustache Maker. <laughs> all right. This is a, a very common thing to make. Everybody's making mustache makers. Now, it's very common in that it's a meme maker of some sort or a uh, you, you upload a picture, you draw on the picture, and you save the picture. And we're going to do that in five minutes in Zim. Can you believe it? Let's think about that again. Concentrate here. We're going to be able to upload a picture. So this is the user will be able to upload a picture from their computer or their, their mobile device. They're going to be able to draw on that picture with their finger or with their mouse. And then they're going to save the picture. And we're going to do that in five minutes <laughs> in Zim. Okay, so here we go. Shall we start the timer? I guess so. I don't know. All right, timer's going. So first thing, we will make a loader. Const loader is equal to a new loader dot center there like that. And then we would say loader dot on. We'll make an event loaded. Call this arrow function. And in that arrow function, we'll collect the event object E. We can say E dot uh, bitmap. So this is the, the event object gives us the bitmap dot scale to. If we just scale to the stage that will fit it on the stage, this would make it uh, fit fill the stage. So let's try a fill type fill like that. And then we'll dot center it on the stage. So let's have a look. Open in browser. Boop. So here we go. We press that. I select a picture and it didn't work. F12. Oh, stage.update. Okay, so I F12 to come over to look to see if I had an error and then the picture showed up. So that's a common occurrence if we forgot to stage.update after our picture was added to the stage. Okay, so there it is. That's good. Okay, let's carry on then. And now we want to add a pen. We could add a button to save it. Let's add the button to save. So um, I might have to store it in a variable. Const button is equal to a new button. And we will have it say the label call it save. We'll dot pose that at 50 comma 50 from the right and from the bottom okay and we'll dot tap on that so when we tap on it we'll call this arrow function and we will say loader dot save uh, that would actually save the the button as well because the button loader dot save is going to save the stage so why don't we say button dot remove from so we're going to remove the button and then button dot add to another way to do it would be just save a certain container and add everything to the container that we want to save and interface that we don't want to save the picture of. OK, so there's the save button. It's on the picture, but we also want the pen now. So that would be um, a new. Well, we'll make a pen uh, const pen is equal to a new pen and uh, dot add to. So don't forget to add the pen to the page. And then we can say new motion controller. Uh, 
we will control the pen. So the target is the pen. And the um, type of it is press move comma. And we have to include this mouse down, mouse down includes uh, is the e dot bitmap so that we can draw on the bitmap otherwise oops, otherwise it won't work okay so that's that's generally it I think we open in browser we select the picture bump and we draw a mustache woo and we hit press and it saves it So this is now a PNG, a saved PNG on the user's computer. They've just uploaded and drawn a mustache. And we stopped that timer. Amazing. That was 4 minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> yes. Uh, the mustache is okay. That's, that's just your default pen. I suppose if we wanted to, we could slightly adjust the pen like so, where we say the type, I believe it's pen type. We want to set the pen type with a property, but the type of a pen, a pen is a display object, uh, we can't use type because the type of the pen is pen. So any display object gets a type. And so we've changed that to pen type. And we can say hair, like that. And the color, uh, we can say, I don't know, dark, like so. Mm, anything else we might want to adjust there? No. And then we get a mustache that looks like this. <laughs> okay. If we hold the shift, we can click and delete that. Um, so it's too fat everywhere it might be good for sort of a bad type of mustache eh, okay we'll call those eyebrows <laughs> uh it might be good for that type but I, I would like it to be fat and then go to skinny what do you guys say yeah okay let's just try that quickly dot animate well tell you what when we mouse down if we if we animate it fat to thin it's going to keep on going fat to thin fat to thin fat to thin and uh, when we start the next time, it might be on a thin to start. So what we want to do is really animate when we press down on the stage. So that stage dot on, uh, stage mouse down, all lowercase, call this arrow function. And at that point, we'll animate the pen. Pen dot animate uh, the props. Props of that will be the size. So the pen size, oh gosh, there's some like size scale or something like that. Let me just have a look in the docs. Uh, the thing is, oops, <laughs> this is the docs pen. The thing is, um, the pen has some properties that you can animate down here. For instance, the size. But the size gets applied with a zim v. If you want to animate the size, then you deal with these things, size and spread. And as a matter of fact, it's not really the size. That's the thickness of those lines. It's the spread. The spread is what gives you how high the hair is. So that's the spread. And once again, that gets selected at the beginning. So if you want to animate it, you would animate the spread scale or factor, the amount of spread. Okay, so let's do spread factor. spread factor and we can go to point 1 for instance so by default it will be 1 which actually might be important uh, if, if we're animating this back and forth and then we press down again it's gonna be at whatever it got left so we need a stage dot on stage mouse up call this arrow function like that and then we can in here say pen dot spread factor is equal to one. So when we mouse up, it sets the spread factor back to one. 
so that when we start animating again, and as a matter of fact, somewhere we should stop the animation, I guess, pen dot stop animate. All right, so when we mouse up, we stop the pen animation and change the spread factor back to one so that every time we mouse down, it starts animating again from a spread factor of one. I suppose we could have put the spread factor of one up there. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to animate to a spread factor of 0.1. That's smaller. Okay, you want to see what happens? Open in browser. Upload a picture. Mm, hello. See that? Look at that. It animated to small. Uh, it's going to animate back to big again if we wait too long. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. What do you say? <laughs> I think we got it. Press and saved. There it is. Saved in the users in downloads. Saved as, as that. You can make it show up as a name, a certain name if you want, by passing that into the save parameter. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and that is from five minutes, coding in five minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. It's been a delight to be back. It's been a while since we've done some five minutes. Hope you enjoyed that. Ciao. Have a great day. Or night.